Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be showing you the best way to become rich in Jailbreak. Yes. So many people in Jailbreak, new people are joining every day and they're just like confused like, what is Jailbreak? What do you do this? What do you do that? Well, it, this tutorial might be a series depending on how long will be about how you can go from a noob in jailbreak with only 200 cash to being a pro with 1.3 million plus. Anyways, let's go on to the video. So over here on Roblox, um, I'm just on jailbreak. I'm just gonna sign out or log out and I'm just gonna make a new account. Random birthday, it really doesn't matter. I'll be whatever. Um, JB JB money tutorial yes well how about we change it to pro yes um okay I just typed in a password so you couldn't see it so save um okay hold on I'll do the capture Okay, anyways, I made the account. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Settings. Um, theme. Dark. Save. You have to be on dark mode, otherwise you suck. So let's go ahead over up to games and jailbreak. And let's just go ahead and play jailbreak. Open Roblox. Just load in. We're loading in. Okay. Now, when you first load into Jailbreak, you're gonna see this screen right here. Choose Prisoner. Right over here. And as you can see, I'm right here. And you, I, you should have like an orange prisoner suit on. I don't know why, but I think it glitched. But anyways, you, the easiest way to escape in Jailbreak is you actually want to come here and. It seems like we have a seems like we have a glitched server, so I'm just gonna rejoin. Sometimes you will get a glitched server. There's too many hackers in jailbreak, that's pretty much it. Um game. Oh there. Loading up jailbreak. Now, again, choose prisoner. I'm gonna spawn right here. And there's also the cafeteria. Just come out of the cafeteria over here. Now, there's many ways to escape, but I recommend escaping through here. And I'll give you some tips once we escape. So you wanna come right over here, and then you wanna come out of here. If there are, like, police officers here you can always go all the way to the end of the sewer but anyways you may notice that there's two cars right here what you want to do is okay wait for him to go no dude no 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 dude i'm not getting in So just kind of wait here for the car, it should spawn soon, just like that. Now get in, and make sure to lock it so nobody steals it. And now you just want to come over here. Now you want to, now you want to come that way, and you want to come to here. And then there should be this red dot, that bullseye, and you want to come here, ignore that car, and just come into here. And what you want to do is you want to get the pistol. It's the only free. It's the only free gun that you can have in the game, but you will have to use it to um, escape police. So, anyways, now what you want to do is you want to actually get a donut because if your health is low, this will actually help you because it will heal you. 
later you won't really need it but yeah just I'll explain why once we get the force field gun so now you want to come here avoid any cops if a cop comes up and tries to arrest you just run away you could fight but you're not that good yet unless you're starting out jailbreak number one I mean, unless you're starting off jailbreak from square one again, and you were like a god before. Now you want to come over here onto the lake. It's just over there, and also you have these icons. That's the bank, and oh no, we have an invisible cop. But what you want to do is you want to actually rob a store. Now the bank you'll need a key card for even if it's open. It looks like there's a cop up here. Yeah. Is he lagging or am I lagging? No, he's lagging. Quickly come into here, go through the door. Okay, now you want to come over here and make sure not to die to the laser. You can jump on the jewel. Now come on to over here, and you want to just, and also these red things, those are lasers, don't touch them, once they go that way, stay there, I mean come, once they go the opposite way, you go there. And now down here, what you want to do is you want to actually go here, and you want to press F or your punch tool, and press it four times. And then you'll see you have this robbery bag. It says unlock level 2 and you have a $2,500 limit. So what you want to do is you want to just break the jewels until your bag is full. Now what you want to do is you want to come up back here. Make sure the whole sprint. And have your gun out in case there are any cops who got in. And come right over here. Are you seriously kidding? And sometimes you'll get arrested by a cop because who is that? Mohammed. Mohammed over here thinks it's a good idea to just glitch. And also, you might encounter some nice cops from time to time. Bro, Asimo, stop giving me a stupid pistol. Bro, stop moving or I'm gonna kill- Okay, that's it, I'm killing you. Okay, there. Thanks for the key. Now they're gonna come out of there. Now we want to come over here. Ignore that. Just press X. And what you want to do is you want to actually come down here into the sewer. Now I'm just gonna come down here and if you want stuff to be easier you can buy a VIP server but I don't recommend buying a VIP server until you actually like un until you actually um, like the game 
Like some people would like. No. Bye. I saw that invisible cop. Go. Now just run, run away. Now over here at the volcano base, that's a very special place that later you're gonna wanna go to. And also for this like tutorial series, I'm gonna only be using, I will not be using any game passes. I mean, everything I do in this series will be unlocked via um, the irregular gameplay, no game passes. Just to make it fair for the people who don't have game passes. So one of the secretive places you can actually rob is the power plant. So if you come on over into the city and turn over here, and if you turn into here, you actually have the power plant. And hold on, my mom's Okay, sorry about that. My mom is once again annoying and telling me to do something. So I'll be right. Okay, perfect. And I am back. So anyways, what you want to do is... Hopefully, can I get up here? Yes. And also, one thing I forgot to point out. Sometimes when you're in a server, there's... There'll be, there'll be like this guy saying like, ah, oh, bad CC, apparently find first child in vehicle doesn't do anything, or like, this is a raid or something. Those are hackers, and, um, well, you messed up. I mean, not you, the hackers are terrible. Let's see what should fix them. So I, oh my goodness, what am I doing? Forgot. So anyways, I recommend lining up your vehicle right here in this parking slot. So when you come out of the door, you can just go. And next, what you want to do is you want to come over here to this wires. And then you want to drag the correct number slash, slash color to its place. So 2 to 2, 1 to 1, 0 to 0. And then once it's like that, it should open up. Now what you want to do is you want to go into here and be careful, this is a conveyor. And those red things, yeah those are lasers, so you want to jump over them. So just jump over them, and then once you get here, quickly come onto here. And now come over here, and you have to solve this bigger puzzle. Oh no, I'm going to get a copyright. Oh god, no, somebody help. Okay, and now what you want to do is you want to drag the correct numbers again to their place. And then be care be ready whenever you match the final one because I'll show you why. So just go ahead and match 0 to 0. And this is the last one, so be careful. Get ready to do the obby because once you do this or oh Oh, okay, so. Okay, now we do this. Okay, hold on. So save like a small one for last and get ready. And when the... I hate you, Asimo. I truly do hate you, Asimo. It do be bad, Asimo. So just match them up again on the save. That one. So just kind of do a rough estimate like that. Obviously, you can't do that. So okay. Now you do it. Florida. Great. Great, Asimo. Great game, Asimo. And now go over here and go ahead and match that up. Now, um, boom. Now, oh, God, I'm 
messed it up again. Okay, what am I doing? I'll be back with you. Okay, there. Hopefully a ski a Simo doesn't scam me anymore. Get ready to run in three, two, one, boom. Now quickly go jump over the lasers. Now you notice that you have this uranium value. Um, that's how much money you're robbing. There is a glitch where you can do it right from here, but it's too advanced for people like you because you're new to the game. Maybe use some rocket fuel, I don't know. And now quickly come right on over here, down the tunnel. Get a speed boost from going down the tunnel into here. And now take the straight path, well not straight. Technically you can do a shortcut right here through the desert. And you want to be fast. The the more the less value you have, the more quickly the value goes down. Now use some of your rocket fuel on the ramp. It saves a lot of time for newbies. And also come over here. And then boom, just like that. JB Pro Tutorial just robbed the power plant for that money. And now as you can see, I have money now. Now what you want to do is you want to rob stuff again. The next place you should rob would probably be the museum. It, the museum pays the most money in the game, I believe. Stuff like the bank truck you won't be able to do because you need the C4. It looks like the museum is already under robbery. So just come over here, come on the railroad. There's so many people in the museum. Quickly. Quickly. You want to go fast before everyone else robs the museum and there's nothing left. Come up here to save a bit of time. Without a cop. Sometimes it will just randomly dis- Looks like somebody's hacking in the bank truck. Lady, you're gonna close the museum. I mean, you're- But anyways, looks like they did not rob this. So if you do have a pistol, what you want to do is you want to, or any gun, you want to come over here and then you want to shoot it. You know as the glass goes down. And now you can rob it. And you only have 5 kg max, so just grab the donut and cone. And yeah. You just want to come out and grab a car. My car is down there, so I'm actually going to go ahead and grab my car so that way I don't have to spawn one. You can spawn a car with this button. But, um, you have a five minute cooldown between spawning cars. So if I would spawn a jeep right now, it would, I would have to wait five minutes for the cooldown to end. And look, there's a cop here, just avoid him. He's lagging though, he'd be lagging. Come through this exit sometimes if there's a cop camping through there. Now, oh god, that scared me. Quickly go. Go. Now I have 8,350. From robbing the museum. But you know, the museum isn't the best robbery. In the game. Oh no, it's the only. It's only good for duffel bag. So come over here. I don't know where I am. But um, I say we rob the jewelry store next. Yes. It's open 
it might not be open. Oh, but also a passenger train is here. The passenger train is a train that you can rob. So just come over here with your car and jump onto it. Go ahead here and pull the brake glass. And then go ahead and rob some of the briefcases. And you're going to have to spawn a vehicle for this one, sadly. Spawn a Jeep instead of a Camaro because um, the Jeep is better than the Camaro. And it's free as well. So just come over here and take your bag to the criminal base collector. So once again, you want to come over here to the criminal base. Bro, will you, like, not? Okay, but just come over here to the criminal base, just like the power plant in the museum. You want to turn it into the collector. And once you do, you'll simply get 1,500. Now, you see your cash here? If you're on mobile, you can view it by pressing the cash money, as you can see right here, 8,350. You wanna get, you wanna get sixteen thousand cash, and I will show you why later. So just come over here to the exit. Make sure that there's no cops camping. Wait there for a, for like five seconds, and if you see a blue dot in some place, it means that there's a cop in there. So just kind of avoid the cop if there's a cop in there. If there's a cop camping in there, I recommend you just, um, leave. They usually get tired of camping after, like, three or four minutes, and then you can turn in your money. And, yeah. So, 10,000 cash, 3,400 bounty. As your bounty goes up, more and more cops will start to target you. So just kind of wait here, and yeah. Okay, these are criminals. Looks like I'm waiting for that one. And I'm actually make sure that. Oh, the cargo plane is here, okay. So if you see that big plane in the sky, it means that the cargo plane is here. As you can see, it's going here. It's gonna land on the airport. And once it lands on the airport, you're gonna be able to rob it. So come over here. So yeah, just climb up onto there once you get here. Also ignore that boat. It's a harder robbery. You will, I don't recommend doing it until you're at least somewhat good. Now, what you want to do is over here, come to the plane. Don't worry, the spinners won't hurt you. And if you wait here for a couple of seconds, this will lift down. And also make sure you have a key card when robbing this, because in order to open the door when you escape, you need a key card. And now, if you may notice, it's going to fill up with crates right there. And soon it's going to close. You can't actually enter the pilot's cabin, unfortunately. But you just kind of wait. And... You see the plane's moving. And if you want to see the plane, what's going on, just hold out a gun. Make sure it has, like, the camera lock thing, and you can actually see what's going on outside. And now you want to wait here until the crate has an E circle. E, hold E, inspect crate. If you, so now what you want to do is you want to hold E, just like hold E. <laughs> and if you, and that's just that. And also, if you hear like a dling noise, like a, like kind of just like a dling noise. Um, that means that you've got, you've got a key card. And now what you want to do is you want to hold E to jump out of the plane. And now you'll see this. What you want to do is press space or click on it, and then you'll have this. Now what you want to do is you want to... Well, that sucks. 
you see you gotta wait for it so the nearest Camaro spawn is at the police station so come over here to the police station it also seems like there's a cargo train and now instead of taking this to the criminal based collector you want to take it to the cargo port which is actually not that far so what you want to do is you want to come over here and just go down this road okay that's not a car and you want to come down here until you see there turn into here now wait for the gate to open come over here over the railroad and welcome to the cargo now these crates right here, just drive on into it, and boom, you just got yourself 4,000 cash. Now checking on my money, 14,000. So technically it's only one more robbery. It can be anything, jewelry store or museum bank. Um, it seems like there's not many good cops. Yeah. Okay, just come over here. And if you have this bank vault, do not open it because it will help cops. It will literally, like, quite literally help cops attack you. Make sure to kill them off, and just like that, boom. It doesn't look like this guy knows how to play the game, or if he does, he's just really bad. Now come up here, and just like that, you did your robbery. And just like that. 16,000 cash, just like that. So now what you want to do is you want to come over here, down here, back to this road. I actually screwed up and I have to go back to the bank. And then once you're here at the bank, turn right over here and then right to your left. There should be two vehicles, if not, let them spawn. One cost 600. This cop, this, look at this dude. Look, he's gonna pretend. He's going. Look, he's gonna think, oh, I'm coming there. Look, I bet he's gonna loop around. Oh, well. While you're here, just buy this one, 16,000. Don't buy the 600,000 one. Buy it, and then boom, enter it. Now, this is a slightly better vehicle whenever you buy it. It's nothing crazy. Yeah, probably worth 16,000. But in the next episode, we're going to be getting 50,000 cash. And I'll show you why. Actually, right now. So if you come over here with the model 3 over here in the interior you can press c to view the interior this dude will not stop he will not stop until his target is defeated now come over here to the entrance of the city come over here to this garage and just come into here and once you come into here First of all, nobody can hurt you in here. And second of all, you want to go to engine, and you see level 5, 50,000 cash. Once you put a once you put a level 5 engine in this, you will literally be it it will be one of the fastest vehicles in the game. But we'll be getting that next episode.
yes, I'm gonna do some off-camera grinding. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the series, and um, new to pro. Yeah. Well, bye. I've been recording for how long? 30 minutes. Wow. That's a long time. But yeah, goodbye.